What's up guys, Kevin DeBruin, the Fit Rocket Scientist here. Here, we have a really important issue to discuss today, guys. Um, I've been hearing these things, uh, these people, uh, they're called flat earthers. Earth is round, folks. Not really sure where this come from, but I think it's something that I need to address. All right, so we, we, we know the earth is round. No, fact, factual, not a myth, nonfiction, earth is round. But if you happen to run into one of these flat earthers, or if you're curious on how we can actually prove the earth is round, um, and would like to relay this information to others, I've got five tips for you here to tell you how to do that. So first one, let's look at a lunar eclipse. All right, how about that? So when you're the sun, okay, you guys are the sun, you're bright, shiny, you're the star here, okay? You guys are the star, you're awesome. And the earth is here. The moon then transits behind the earth, and the earth eclipses the moon. You're going to see the curvature of the earth as the shadow on the moon as it comes through. So you see the curvature of the earth right there. Boom. That means it's a sphere. Perfect. So then you look up at the night sky. So you also see a round moon. You see a round sun. Does that mean that earth is the only flat thing with round stuff orbiting it? No. Earth is round. There we go. Point number one. Number two. Ships over the horizon line. So let's say you're out at the beach and you're surfing, having a good time, or just laying back, soaking up the rays, and you look out and you see a sailboat, all right? It's sailing far away from you. You're gonna see its hull disappear first, and then you'll see the sails disappear. And if it's coming back towards you, you'll see the sails first and then the hull. That's because it's going over the curvature of the earth. Since the sails are higher up, you can see them further. You can see it go further and you see it first when it's coming back. There you go, point number two. Number three, looking at other planets. So here is a model of Venus. It's an inflatable solar system, it's pretty cool. I love these things, it's like a beach ball. Um, the other planets, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, uh, dwarf planet Pluto. Um, these things are round out there, people. So if all of the other stuff in the solar system is round and we're flat, that just doesn't make sense. We're not the center of the universe, not happening. Um, so, look at the other planets, they're round, the moons out there are round, so Earth itself is round. Okay? Number four, fourth point here, time zones. It takes the Earth about 24 hours to spin around, so we have 24 different time zones. That's why while it's sunny outside here in California, people on the other side of the world are sleeping because it's dark. And if you had a flat Earth, we'd either all be in light or all be in darkness at the same time. But with a curved surface here, with a, a ball, we have blocking of light and other sides of this this body so we can have different time zones nighttime and daytime all right and the last one we have pictures of earth from outer space humans have been to outer space they have walked on the moon all right we have pictures of earth that it's round it's awesome this one right here called earth rising it's a picture from the moon coolest thing you'll ever see right there super awesome so if you look out there you can See that the moon is around. If you're on the moon, you see that the earth is around. So those are some tips and information that you can tell other people of why we can prove the earth is flat. And if you tell them this information and for some reason they're just not getting it or they don't believe you, they don't trust science, which it doesn't matter if you trust science or not, doesn't matter what you believe, you know, it's fact, it's science. Um, just, you know, send them over my way and I'll just have a little chat with them and prove to them that the earth is round, people. Yeah!